Hello and welcome to this Kasambi tutorial. In this session, we'll cover how to remove Kasambi devices from a network. This is called unpairing. To unpair any Kasambi device from a network, it needs to be powered or activated, and your mobile device must be within Bluetooth range of the device. There are a few different ways to unpair devices from a network. Let's first take a look at how to unpair a device from a network where you have administrator rights. First, open a network and log in if needed. Any device in your network can be unpaired from the nearby devices view. Simply select a device from the list that you wish to unpair. You will then see different options. Select Unpair Device and the device will be unpaired. Luminaires, switches, sensors and DALI gateways can also be unpaired from their configuration view. Navigate to the view containing the device you wish to unpair. For example, for switches, tap the switch to be unpaired to open its configuration. Scroll to the bottom and select the Unpair Device option. Remember that if the device is battery powered, such as the Kazambi Express, you must first activate it before the Unpair Device option will be visible. To activate Express, press any two buttons. Luminaires can also be unpaired from the Luminaires tab. Double tap on the Luminaire that you want to unpair to open to configuration. The Unpair Device option can be found at the bottom. In Edit mode, you can unpair a Luminaire by tapping the X in corner of the Luminaire icon. Next, we'll cover how it is possible to unpair a device from a network to which you do not have access rights. For example, this may be needed if you've deleted a device from your network when it wasn't powered, or if a supplier has forgotten to unpair the device after their production testing. When powered and within Bluetooth range, these devices will appear in the nearby devices view as paired. To unpair, you must be able to cut the power to the device. This is also a form of security to ensure that the person trying to unpair a device really does have access to that device. From the nearby devices view, tap on the device you wish to unpair and select Unpair Device. In the unpairing view, tap on Start and an orange bar will start moving across the screen. Switch the power to the device off and on during the time it takes the bar to move across the screen. If unpairing fails, then try again. Products that use an additional power supply, like the CBU PWM4, usually need a longer pause between power off and on. You can also just switch power off and let the orange bar reach the end of its travel. The app will give you a notification that the unpairing failed, but you will probably find that when you power the device again, it will appear as unpaired in the nearby devices view. Further information can be found from our support website and in our app user guide. You can also sign up for our free online training courses on our website. Thanks for watching.